Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode on the fish game that we have. So in today's episode we are going to fix a few bugs and yeah, just make the experience smoother. So let's get right into it. So what we want to do is we only want the player to be able to use the UI if the rod is equipped. Because right now, when we pull your rod in, everything works perfectly, right? So we can shake, everything is working perfectly. And let's just get a progress 100 real quick, and yeah, then finished. And we can also use this UI if we are, well, outside of the rod. Well, we can't use the bobber things, but I think that's also just a book. Yeah. Right, we have to fix it. So, let's get into it. And... Let's go on the rod script. And let's get to... So the rod script is inside the tool. And then we can get a tool. So we do local tool is equal to script.parent. And we can not define this to being a tool. And what we can do is if the input is began, then we can cut this out. And if if tool dot equipped I think it's it's equipped. Okay, this isn't a. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get a new thing here called local tool equipped, and is equal to false. And what we want to do is, if tool equipped is equal to true, then we want to paste it in here. And the same thing, yeah, that's basically it. And then we do tool dot equipped connect for, sorry. Then we do tool dot equipped con connect function. And it gives us the mouse for some reason. But yeah, then we can just set the tool equipped equals true. And the same thing with the unequipped. Copy the wrong thing. And then we do unequipped and then we set it equal to false. I think this should work. So let's give it a try. So we can use it pretty well. Let's see if we've got any issues. We do not. Okay, we do not. Yeah, if I equip this, I can't use the UI anymore. And if I equip it, I can't. As you can see. And yeah, we also want to reset everything once the rod is unequipped. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's get into fixing some more stuff. So, essentially what we want to do is we want to add a new function that basically resets everything. So let's get into the function. So local function reset progress and ey. And we do progress is equal to zero. We do clicked is equal to true. And we do in water is equal to false. Then local ui is equal to player. And we have a player statement here. Here. Why isn't it using it then? 
So we get player and then dots player GUI. And we find the fishing UI. If UI then local name is equal to UI call find fresh child name. Wait, am I writing something wrong? Fishing UI and then main. No, this is correct. This is correct. Okay. And if main, then main dot casting. So you get main dot casting dot visible. This is false. And then if casting. Uh, we can just do and if we can do local bar is equal to main casting dot bar then we do if bar then we do bar dot size is equal to um2 dot new and then we do bar dot size dot x dot scale comma zero comma zero comma zero I messed up those commas zero comma zero comma zero and then bar dot position secretion two dot near and then we get the bar dot position dot x dot scale again and then just to 0, 1, and 0. Then we can drop out two ends and do local shake frame is equal to main called frame first child shake frame. And then if shake frame, then for underscore comma child. In a shake frame called get children do. If child is a image button and child.name isn't equal to templates, then we do child call destroy. Like this. And then we can get off this function just like here and now one one more up here and then if active bobber then active bobber can destroy and active bobber is equal to nil and lastly we do if active tween then active tween can cancel and active tween is equal to nil then these functions remain, remain unchanged, I think. We don't have to add anything in there. And yeah, right below here we can do reset progress and UI. And then that's pretty much it, I think. But we can go ahead and just call the reset progress and UI in both of these function calls and let's see how it goes. So more explorer and I'm able to the same property that I write oh, I brought to Udem not Udem2 sorry. Then let's get a Udem2 of course and then let's go ahead and now we should got no errors it's perfect and we can use this like normally now when I unequip my rods you can see that this kind of place we don't want this to happen first of all let's see if it actually works I think it does but this is not what we want Uh, 
Okay, since we want to go in here and for the shake, if in water. And let's see tool equipped is equal to true then and then what we want to do is if not tool equipped then return just like this and then original to break I think no return sorry return now let's see it okay it still happens but we can't click it Although we actually rename it though, that's my question. Let me see it. Yeah, we rename it to the progress though, that's why I'm wondering. Okay, so we want to update the shake function by a bit, so yeah, we can keep track of everything. So let's go up here and do local is shaked or is shaking. And with this is shaking, we could then go ahead and set this to false. And in the shake down here, we could then go ahead and check. So we can remove this here. And and is shaking, or not is shaking. Then we could do is shaking is equal to true. Then we get the shake and everything like this and is shaking like this and then we get the can click and then that's pretty much it and then down here we can do is shaking is to false like this or actually we should do Yeah, we should get this in here. Like, we should remove this and get this in here. I just copied it off somewhere else in my scripts. So, yeah, just copy what I wrote here. We just delete the rest of those. And yeah, then in the unequip, we also want to set is shaking equals to false. Now when we go ahead and play the game and we cast the rods, the shakes appear and everything works smoothly. Yeah, that's pretty much it for all the bug fixes today. Thank you all for watching the video and see you all, all on the next part. Peace.